Watch you guys got another video here for you on DNS server not responding on Windows 10 how to fix errors on Windows 10 with DNS not responding well this is quite a common problem and I want to show you some of the steps you can take you can see here that we have no internet access and this error may come up and when you do a quick diagnostic of your Ethernet or Wi-Fi connection it will give you either DNS not responding or it will say cannot connect to uh, the DNS server or it may say another issue like uh, reset your network or something like that this is a common thing and uh, sometimes it's related to your ISP and sometimes it's your computer or it could be your router I'll cover all of this in this video so you can see here we've got no internet access on this computer and I've been having this intermittent issue over the last month and it could be a bunch of different things so let's go through and uh, do some of the fixes here to see whether we can resolve this problem so first up what you want to do is go down to the start button and go to settings and then go to network and internet inside here you want to be looking for change adapter options open up this one and uh, in there you want to see your ethernet that you use right click on this and go to properties this will open up this uh, ethernet properties now yours might be wi-fi so either one just use either one then go to tcp ip4 and then go down to here where it says use the following dns address now you can use whatever dns server you want to use uh, but i'm going to be put, putting a google one in here just to see whether that resolves the problem so just do OK here. Maybe your DNS server is playing up with your ISP or it's down, but changing it temporarily can solve that problem. Next on, we're going to go for the next solution, which is going down to the search box and type CMD. Run this as administrator, and this will open up the command prompt box here. So once we're inside here, we're going to run a bunch of commands to try and resolve this problem. So the first thing we're going to do here is type out this command here so just I'll leave all these commands in the video description for you so you can just follow along and copy and paste them so you want to type in here net sh space int space ip space reset and then space c colon backslash and then right in here reset log dot txt and this will create a log file as well inside your C root directory and you can check that out you can see it's now reset and that should have reset our network settings here so that's sometimes can resolve the problem so I'm going to scroll up here and we're going to be typing in another command so let me just show you the next command that we're going to be typing in here uh, for the next sequence of fixes so type in here net sh space and then win sock all one word and then reset just like so and let that reset it so let's reset the wind sock and uh, next up what we're going to do here is type in here how we want to flush the dns as well so we're going to do ip config space forward slash flush dns just like so push enter and that will flush the dns on our computer we can exit out of this uh, command prompt box restart your computer and hopefully uh, that has resolved your issues if you're still having some issues then we can try some other things so let me go ahead and show you some other things that we can try to try and resolve this problem so go down to the start button click settings here go back into network and internet here and then once you're inside here you will see network reset this is to reset the network uh, as well you can hit this one and run this if you wish and see if that resolves your problem and you should now see that you are connected to the internet I'm going to show you a couple of other things you can try as well if you want to continue so I'm going to go to the search box here and type CMD and open this up as administrator inside here we're going to put in a bunch of commands here as well so let me go ahead and uh, type these out so we're going to put IP config space forward slash release 
And this will give you a long list of information about your network adapter. We've just released it. So what we need to do now is actually renew it. So what we're going to do is type in a new command. We're going to do ipconfig space forward slash renew. And this will renew for us. And that will take a bit of time. So be patient and then it will give you a load more information. So once that has completed, it does take a bit of time. We can then reset the uh, windsock as well because you want to do this all in a big sequence of things so we'll just let that finish off here and then we'll reset the windsock and then we'll flush the dns as well so let's go ahead and do the windsock command again here so go net sh space windsock and then space reset and then once we've done this we can then also flush the DNS as well. So go ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. And you want to do this in sequence like this, and then hopefully that should have resolved your problem. So once we've done there, we can do ipconfig space forward slash register DNS as well. And this will let us know in the event viewer if there's any other problems you can see here registration of the dns resource records for all adapters of this computer have been initiated any errors will be reported in your event viewer in the next 15 minutes so that's what we want just in case that problem comes back it just gives us some information on what's actually happening uh, with our computer so next off what you can do is go to device manager and this is another thing that a lot of people tend to miss is your network adapters which is for your network card whether it be for ethernet or for wi-fi as you can see here wireless you want to check the drivers on these these may be outdated so you can check for updates of drivers now the problem is people see this and think it's got the best driver installed but microsoft are always a little bit behind on their updates for their drivers so what you'd advise you to do is once you've checked here, you'll see it says best driver for this device is installed, is to go to the manufacturer's website and check to see if there's an update for those drivers. If you've got errors with your drivers, then that's the reason why you're uh, having issues. So when you go to the motherboard manufacturer's website of your machine, in this case, this is my motherboard here, I'm gonna choose the operating system and you can see LAN here. This will tell you the version that is released you can see there's quite a new update for this also if you're looking for wireless here you can see there's another new update for that as well so when you go back to your device manager and check you can see the date corresponding with the new stuff on your system so let me go back here and just right click on these go properties and then go to driver and it will tell you what version of driver and you can see this driver is out of date by quite a bit so updating this might resolve that problem that you're having so it's always best to check to make sure that you have got the latest and greatest drivers for your hardware and uh, go back here to the LAN you can see this is the LAN version here and we can also check that inside device manager as well so let me just go ahead, right click and go properties and go to driver. And you can see that's also out of date. That's a 2019 version. Uh, so we need to update those. So what you want to do is download the very latest one here for LAN and wireless, get those downloaded. And once they're downloaded, we can get them installed on the system. They can un uninstall them before you install them if you want to but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, extract all those into a folder and then go ahead and quickly install these onto the system and hopefully that will resolve a lot of problems maybe there's a driver problem or something like that maybe some sort of update is conflicting with that driver and it doesn't like it and updating it will resolve that problem it's always best to keep updated with these things so I've just let that install here and once that's done we can correspond to make sure we've got the up, most updated driver on the system. So it takes a bit of time to get this installed on the computer. So just let that go ahead. Now I'm also going to be installing the wireless uh, drivers as well for this uh, motherboard. 
and I'll also do the chipset drivers because they are also outdated so I'll make sure I do that just in case and again if you're still having problems uh, you can do some other things but I'm just going to check here so I'm doing the Wi-Fi drivers as well here now once you've done all of these drivers you can then check to make sure that you've got the latest version on your system here so these are downloaded here just going to get the chipset drivers and get those installed now when you check here go back go properties you'll see that the driver is the latest driver here we've got the latest version so that's that done just checking the Wi-Fi here and that's also done as well so we're all updated there now you can use other software to keep your drivers updated there's plenty of them out there that you can use but that is the driver situation done another thing you can do is make sure once you get internet connectivity is check the status of your uh, broadband service and it's important because your ISP will have some sort of status page which you can run a test on or it will tell you whether there's problems in your area in my case I'm running uh, Virgin Media here so when I run a test here it will test all my equipment and also all of the uh, network and stuff like that to see if there's any sort of issues in my area and this is really a good way to find out whether it's uh, basically server-sided which is your ISP whether it's related to those or whether it's your computing you see all of the tests look good and a good thing about the service status check here is it will check to see whether the problem lies with Virgin Media on their side or whether it lies with the hardware in your home or whether it lies with the PC another thing you can do which is the final thing you can do is reset your router back to default settings um, and this is another thing that sometimes fixes a lot of these issues maybe there's a problem or there might be an update available for that hub if you are using Virgin Media there may be some other uh, thing with your router you need to check with your uh, supplier there's plenty of them out there even in the US they'll have their own pages where you can do all this sort of stuff so just check with your ISP you can see here there's a little reset pin there you just push the pin in and hold it for so many seconds and that will reset your router back to default settings and hopefully after you've done all of this you should have your internet back up and running Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. Hopefully this one helps you out. If you've got intermittent issues with your internet, just like this, whether it's DNS issues or other types of issues, you can try some of these solutions and hopefully this will resolve a lot of your problems. Also check all the connectivity on your hardware to make sure everything is plugged in okay and it's not loose or anything like that. Uh, another problem that sometimes happens is the little plastic clips on the uh, cables the ethernet cables sometimes break and they're not sitting into the port properly just check all your connections and stuff like that make sure nothing's worked loose anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video helps you out i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos